Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for hosting us again, Yad Vashem. In the book, it took a simple few lines. Never forget, never again, signing my name. Underneath my name I wrote, we will always remember. We are here, and we will tell the story so no one ever forgets. It's not about just never forgetting, it's telling the story. There's no more beautiful place for memorial than on the peak of this hill. There's no more somber times as you walk in and walk through. There's no more emotion that you can grab when the story is told. There's no, no denying what transpired of six million innocent lives being taken. As we watch so many times in history, when history is forgotten, it gets repeated. There is a, a reason why we're here. Yes, it's to celebrate the 75th anniversary. But we're at this place, at this time, in a bipartisan group of Congress, because we will not forget. But we will tell the story. We will tell the story across the world. The book you just provided me will go from your desk to the speaker's desk in the Capitol. So at any time, people can see the name Jew and understand what that means with six million that were taken. The story you had shared with us just as we looked at the book of names and the empty pages in the back I think this book is fitting because the story you told where a young child being born in Auschwitz, only a last name, never given a first, but a life taken within 30 minutes of a life given. That's a story that has to be told. And we will take those stories back with us and make sure all know. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of it.